Hey, my name is Jonah McNeil and welcome to the Worship Central Vocal Tutorials. Okay guys, in this session we're going to talk a little bit about blending. Blending is really important when we have multiple singers singing. Uh, if you've got someone uh, singing alongside of you, it's highly likely that they're going to have quite a different voice to you. So there's lots of things that we can do to make sure that our voice complements well the other voice that we're singing with. And of course, as, uh, uh, as backing vocalists, our role is to support. It's not necessarily to try and find limelight or to you know, get our solo part out there, but it's just to support and create a great sound for the whole uh, congregation to get involved. Okay, so when we think about blending, we've got to think about tone qualities. Uh, now, for instance, my voice tends to be reasonably kind of deep and crispy. If I'm singing with a really light uh, female singer, for instance, I don't want to be going for it with a really, really big voice. I want to be able to lighten up my sound so I can compliment. Now, we looked at our last session at Everlasting God. Let's see if we can use that again and, and use that just to find some different ways of, uh, of blending our sound. So let's remind ourselves of the chorus melody again. You are the everlasting God. So I'm giving it a little bit of a little bit of gusto today. Um, I'm wanting to you know, give it a nice strong sound. But however, if I was singing with say a lighter female voice, I don't want to give it a lot of punch because it might be just a bit too dominating for, for the actual overall sound. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how we can lighten that sound up a little. If I want to sing that, that a little bit lighter, I might just want to perhaps even put a bit more breath through that sound. Have a listen to this. You are the everlasting God. Now you might notice I've also taken out my vibrato. Vibrato is just uh, a, a, an oscillation of the tone. Uh, you can make vibrato as big or as small as you want to, but I've decided in that little session there to take vibrato out completely. Let me sing it for you again. You are the everlasting God. Really, really simple, really light, and it's just meaning that I'm not dominating uh, perhaps a, a lighter female voice uh, to the point where it's really taking the focus from where it should be. Okay, so that's maybe using a breathier sound. We can also use nasally sounds to try and penetrate the overall mix a bit more. Sometimes we can feel a little bit too conservative when it comes to singing good backing vocal lines and sometimes the, the worship leader really appreciates uh, much more support when it comes to getting a full sound behind them. And so we can do this by creating a bit more of a nasal sound. Now, now if you're quite used to classical singing, this might feel a little bit foreign for you. However, give it a go. So firstly, here's a good little exercise to get us into that part of our face. Just say, nay, nay, nay. Make it as nasty as you can possibly, possibly go. Nay, nay, nay. Really nasally. And you should really feel it vibrating in your, in your nose right there. So nay, nay, nay. And when we're using these little exercises, try to go as intense and extreme with them as possible. So nay, nay, nay. So I want to get my uh, You Are The Everlasting God quite nasal for just maybe a tenor line that I'm wanting to penetrate the mix a bit more. So I was singing it before with a reasonably, we call it a balanced onset if you want a bit of uh, technical uh, technical uh, jargon there. But anyway, this is I was singing Everlasting God like this. You are the everlasting God. So to get me into that nasal sound, I'm going to use this nay nay sound on all of the melody notes of Everlasting God. So have a listen to this. Nay, 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 nay. Now keep in mind, don't get too worried. This is an unfinished sound. This is not the final product. But if I get that nay into that, those melody notes, my voice starts feeling what it's like to get a slightly more nasal sound, a nasal tone quality. So let's do that again. Sing along with me as well. Nay, 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 nay. Let's add some lyrics now to that. You are the everlasting God. So with that nasal sound coming through. You are the everlasting God. Now, 
Ultimately, you might think that sounds really, really yuck. Now, you can take, his, uh, take a little bit of that nasality out of there, but if you're singing a harmony and you're trying to compliment, say, a slightly more rich male vocalist or female vocalist that's singing the worship leader part, you are the everlasting God is going to actually penetrate a little bit more uh, through the mix. It's important you think about these kinds of things. So we looked at breathy sounds, we looked at nasal. You can also put a bit more vibrato in if you've got, say, a solely, more gospelly sort of voice, uh, which I know some of you will be from churches that have some worship leaders with really, really big voices. And so you can actually use that vibrato to, uh, to complement their voice. So if they're singing, you you are the everlasting God with a really, really big gospel sound. You can use that sense of vibrato to help that, uh, that, that blending uh, translate. So, you are the everlasting God. You can get that big sound in there with a big vibrato. If you struggle with vibrato, try these couple of little exercises. Okay, just put your hands on your, uh, on your rib cage like that. And uh, you should just feel your th finger and your thumb just directly beneath your rib cage. Now, I want you to laugh really hard for me. Just go, ha, 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 ha. It's going to feel really weird. And if you're watching this on the internet and you're doing this in front of the computer, people around you are probably going to think you're going a little bit crazy. But hey, we're going to sound great after this. We're going to put our hands underneath our rib cage and go, ha, 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 ha. And that, that sense of... Um, of laughing there. It's just getting a bit of a bounce happening on our diaphragm. So if we go, ha 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 ha, just do that little bounce feeling and you're going to really feel that, that diaphragm. I almost feel like that sounds like that, that sound is bouncing up and down off the, the diaphragm. So let's just go, <laughs> that little exercise there is encouraging us to use diaphragmatic vibrato. So vibrato brought about by our diaphragm. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> Do it with me this time. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can join some of those notes up this time on the way to creating a bit of a bigger vibrato. So let's go. <laughs> you're going to feel like you're, um, like you're trying to get a little bit of air through that sound. Try to resist putting too much air through those chords. So, <laughs> now I'm feeling my laugh still happen even though I'm joining up all of those notes. So you can make that uh, go a little faster. Now you might need to spend a little bit more time on the slow one while you're getting this going. But let's just uh, try this a little bit faster. And now I'm getting that laugh spinning off into a really regular consistent vibrato. So that's a little way how you might want to try and develop some vibrato exercises that can fill out your tone quality and make you maybe a little bit more appropriate as a backing vocalist for a big sounding worship leader. Few thoughts on blending, guys. I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we'll uh, see you soon. No,